boys look nice. It was fun. We're getting Tennessee stack. Hey there nerds, today I've got a, uh, another food review video for you. So McDonald's this month are doing, oh, I think it's for six weeks actually, they're doing the uh, American style burgers again in the UK. Uh, I don't know where else in the world they do this, but in the UK we get it once a year. Okay, so there's the box. You've got the three burgers there. So the one we're having is this first one, the Tennessee Stacker. Then we've got a New York Stack and a Tex-Mex Stack. That's the one I'm most excited about. But this one looks nice. It's got a uh, Tennessee style barbecue sauce in it, grilled onions, um, there's two burgers. So let's see how we get on. Okay, it looks really nice actually. Considering I'm not a massive fan of McDonald's. I much prefer Burger King I, I, over here in the UK over McDonald's. And there's other burger places that are way better than McDonald's. But every now and then I do like a Big Mac. But this one actually does look quite nice when you uh, look at it in the box. There we go. Nice flower top bun, that looks really good. Okay, got our fries as usual, to come in. I'm not a massive fan of McDonald's fries either, to be honest with you. Um, I much prefer a lot of other places for fries. KFC are probably the best out here in England. I don't know what they're like in America. Um, I am actually on my way to work, that's why I'm, I'm wearing my shirt. I'm on my way to work. I've had a busy morning look after riding, so I haven't had the time to eat anything before work, and I'm working until late, till 10 o'clock tonight, so I need to say it good to eat. So uh, let's give this one a try. It's because there's a lot of cheese in there. Does taste really nice the first bite. Didn't really get a lot of the barbecue sauce. I'm trying to go in for a bite with the barbecue sauce. That is nice. It's a nice burger. I don't often buy the special limited edition burgers from McDonald's because I'm usually disappointed every time they do them. I pretty much stick with the Big Mac at McDonald's, the occasional quarter pounder. But um, that's, yeah, it's pretty good actually. So um, yeah, I'm just going to try and uh, finish this off and um, I'll get back to you with my review. Last bite. Hmm. Okay guys, so I finished it. Um, yeah, it's all right. Nothing spectacular as usual from McDonald's. You know, I don't know if it has changed since I was a kid, but I mean, it must have done because they keep changing what you, they can and can't use in their ingredients. But I remember McDonald's being much, much better when I was a kid. I always end up being disappointed with their burgers, unless it's a Big Mac. So yeah, it was nice. The barbecue sauce was nice. They pretty much just used a quarter pounder burger, so there was two of those in there, lots of cheese, there was the grilled onions which were nice, and the barbecue sauce was nice, and the bun was nice, but it was just nice, it was alright. Um, yeah, if I'm going to rate that out of 10, I would probably give it um, six and a half, so I wouldn't rush out and get it guys. Um, I might miss out on the next one, and I'll probably just try the third one, um, the, the Tex-Mex one and can bring you that review as well. But yeah, it's, it was okay. 
Okay, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a like. Leave some comments about if you've had this or anything about McDonald's. What do you think? Anything fast food related, leave your comments. And if you'd like to see me try. If you haven't already, guys, subscribe to my channel. There's quite a lot more food reviews on here, mainly fast food. Uh, as well as I do Funko Pop unboxing, subscription boxes, movie reviews, all kinds of nerdy stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, check out my previous videos and please subscribe. Okay, so thanks for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.